All right. So the first thing we're going to do is find the file on Clothing Mockups 3D and download the file. Once we've done that, we're going to go to use Blender uh, software. If you've never used Blender before, you can download it at blender.org. I'll leave a link in the description and then you just press download on the website and download it. Once that's done, we'll open up Blender. If you've never used Blender before, this is how it looks like with the opening screen with the camera and the square, the cube, sorry and the light. Uh, it can seem really, really complicated at first, but uh, it's going to be really simple. We're going to go through it step by step, so it should be a pretty easy process. First thing I'm going to do is open the file that we got from Clothing Markups, hoodie tutorial setup.blend, open that, and you'll be greeted with this screen. The first thing we're going to look at is the timeline, and we're going to drag this across, and you'll see that you can turn the 3D model. So pretty simple, we can turn it in any direction we want. And then in the end, we can take photographs in multiple different angles of the, the hoodie we're gonna make. The next thing we're gonna look at is the uh, ways we can view the 3D model itself. So we have these little icons up here. So you have wireframe, you have solid mode, you have material preview, which will bring up the texture that's based on the 3D model right now. And you also have render, which is similar, but slightly more taxing for the computer. So the first thing we're going to do is look at how we can change the textures on this to whatever you want. Right now we're in the layout uh, view and we're going to go to the UV editing tab at the top here. We're going to click on that. And here you can see that the textures that we have on the 3D model right now. We're going to change that. And how we're going to do that is using Photoshop or Procreate or any other software that you use to make textures. I'm going to use Photoshop. Um, so I'm going to locate the file custom artwork for hoodie PNG. Open that in Photoshop and you'll get this. Basically, anything that you, you draw on the white pieces will come up on the 3D model. Anything on the checkered background won't show up. Um, so here is the example that we have in the tutorial, which is with the Adidas stripes and the logo and the different colors. And we can go back quickly and have a look at Blender to see how that looks. And so, yeah, it looks pretty cool. So what we're going to do now is go back into Photoshop and I'm going to invert this, change it to black and then deselect and I'm going to add my logo in white from Illustrator. So vectorize logo into Illustrator as pixels and place it here. Then I'm going to export as a quick PNG. So just going to save this on my desktop. Yeah, so here it is. I am going to go back into Blender. Uh, let's see, and we're going to go back to UV editing. I'm going to click on the folder icon up here and locate the new artwork, which is this one, open, and it should change it to this here. But when we go back to the layout, you'll see that we still have the same artwork from before. So to fix this, we're going to go to the materials properties and we're going to go to this here and we're going to change this to the new artwork. As you can see, it's come out pretty, pretty dark. It's like, it's a bit difficult to see um, since it's one solid color. So to fix this, we can adjust the, the difference, the differences here on roughness. You can make it really, really shiny or the specularity. So it makes it even more shiny. Um, I'm going to bring the roughness up, but I'm going to also increase the specular just to make it more visible. 
Um, and then I'm just going to have a quick look at it from different angles. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So I might also increase the lighting. So to increase the lighting, I can go to the key light up here and change it from 100 to say 200. Let's see if I can do it to 300. What about a thousand? What will that do? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, okay. It was because I was on the, uh, the material preview rather than the render. So let's bring this back down to 100 and maybe let's increase it to 200. Uh, yeah, cool. Okay, so I've got that. So it's pretty much done. Uh, what I'm going to do now is go into the renders and this is called the output properties. So here we can change the size of the camera. Right now it's on A4. But we can also change it to like, let's say a Instagram post, which would be 1080 by 1920. And we can just turn this to make sure it's in the center for the post. It's looking good. And if we want to take just one image, what we can do is go into, uh, let's see, into render, render image. It'll take a little bit of time to load, but what it will do will it will bring up the final image here. And then I can go to image, save as, and just put render one. I'll put that on my desktop again. Cool. And finally, we're going to look into how we can make this an animation. So we'll pull this back to frame zero. And we'll leave it as the same dimensions as the Instagram post. And what we'll do now is um, look in where we're going to save this. So right now on output, it's on temporary files, which can be sometimes a little bit difficult to find. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the hoodie file, the hoodie uh, folder, sorry, and press accept. Now that when I when I'm finished with this render, it will save into the file that was downloaded. So again, we're going to go to render and we're going to go to render animation. And what it will do now is um, render each individual frame. So we've got 250 frames, so it will make 250 individual renders. And when it's completed, it will turn it into an, an animation that you can use straight away on your social media posts or whatever you want to use it on. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to stop this because it's going to take forever. I'll also put it on my Instagram uh, feed, Clothing Markups 3D. Um, one more thing you can do is, for example, change the color of the background. So if we go back to the materials tab, um, and change the base color to let's let's make it a blue. So we're going to make it a blue, and as you can see, it's done nothing, but it's because we have emission on. So what we do is we take that down to black, and it will change it to blue. And you can play around with this and do whatever you want. But uh, hopefully this is helpful. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Otherwise, I hope you found this video useful and like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.